Hi everyone, it's Thursday the 9th of April and it's currently 4.30 on a very nice, sunny, warm, beautiful afternoon. Am I ticked off? Yes, because I can't go out there and enjoy it. <laughs> Never mind, it's just how things are at the minute. It'll get better eventually, we've just got to ride the roller coaster, I suppose. Anyway, I've been keeping myself amused. That's the main thing. But the subject for this video is actually one that I haven't done for quite some time, and that is a barricade light update. Um, mainly because I hadn't bought any for a while, but I have recently, and I've had a couple donated as well. So, should we have a look? There we go. So, I'm going to start here with these. This one is a fairly recent eBay purchase. When I say fairly recent, a good couple of months ago. It's an early JSP mini light. You can tell it's early because it hasn't got the four little knobs on top of the lens. Uh, later ones, which I can actually show you, I have one. There was actually two changes made to the later ones, as you can see knobbly bits on top of the lens. I don't know why they added those. And the actual handle shape is different as well. And I've just noticed that the plastic bucket, the body, is actually a different shade of yellow as well. Didn't notice that. No, that needs a dust, so I'm not going to put that back up yet. So that's one I bought. The Greenham sticker is who the supplier was back in the day. We had several different suppliers back then. Greenham was a common one to see. Parker was the other common one. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I can't think of any others at the minute. Anyway, these two were donated to me by a fellow collector and friend of mine, along with this actually, this uh, cone topper, cone converter, where you would sit that on top of the cone and the barrier planks, the red and white barrier planks, would slot in there. <coughs> and you would use these usually, my throat is tickling at the minute, um, along with um, a cone that had same slots like this in the base. So the cone would double up as your barrier purse, that's basically what this converts it to. So I've now got three of these in my collection, but I've only got two cones with the slots in the base. So I'm now on the lookout for a third. Once I've got a third, that's all I'd want from them. Of those, rather, not from them. Anyway, here's two early ones. I've got a feeling there's a Greenham sticker or something on there. Can't see all the sticker residue. But uh, these ones, the only issue with these is, I think there's a crack in the lid somewhere. I'm sure, yeah, there's a bit of damage. It's all there. Um, but they do work, as you can see, and because this lid is also loose, I can't turn that one off. <laughs> It is in the off position. That should be the off position. And that should be on. Aha, I've got it to go off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they do work. That's got quite a slow flash. That one's faster. But the lid doesn't like to stay on when there's a battery in it. <laughs> there's no downside to that one. But, uh, yep, I'm very grateful to have those. So, um, I've got quite a few of these mini lights, but... I think those are the only three early ones that I've got. All the others, which I've got, I don't know how many of, are um, later ones. Anyway, talk about that next. So, last year I bought a green version of this with clear lenses on it, or white lenses, whatever you want to call them, which I've currently misplaced. I can't remember if I've put them in this bedroom, or if they're in the kitchen, they might be in the kitchen actually. Um, unfortunately, it did need a new um, paint job. It was green, with three white lenses, burner and everything, it's complete. But unfortunately the hinge here had completely seized, so every time you opened it, you actually bent the door. And of course, eventually that was going to snap. In fact, it was getting very weak when I was doing it. So, I hit the old eBay again. And I found this tatty looking one, quite cheap, I think it was only £15. I can't remember if the shipping was free. 
So I'm in the process, as you can see, of trying to get this paint off, but it's quite tough, this paint. And the paint stripper I'm using is not the best. So it's going to take several dunks, or several coats of uh, paint stripper to get that off. Um, but I can't decide which colour I want to go with this, because I have seen pictures of these Dorman lamps with clear lenses in both green and red. Now, I could cheat and do it red, because I've got plenty of red paint, so I could get that done, you know, as soon as I've got all this cleaned up and ready to go. However, I would prefer it in green, because I've already got three red power lamps up here. See? So I wouldn't mind one in a different colour, but I haven't got enough green, so I may, I may get this prepped and ready and wait to go and get the green paint I want. Um, yeah, so I do need to give lenses a wash as well. This did come with lenses. It came with very sooted up amber lenses, which I took off. And I think I actually binned those because they were just, yeah, and not needed. Right, what's next? I'm going to do this one before I get to these because they all came from the same person as well. So this one was just a random eBay purchase last week. Would I recommend them? No, this <laughs> is a short answer. Uh, <laughs> because this arrived not working because inside it actually uses a double A battery. And there's four amber LEDs, two that face this way and two that face the other way. It's also got the um, solar cells on the top there to recharge that AA battery. But apparently on a full charge that will give five nights worth of flashing. But the problem is it arrived with a completely dead AA battery. Soldered to the circuit board and I left this out and turned on trying to get charging and it wouldn't work. So... I took it apart and I actually found that some of these screw fixings there, there's only three, there should be five. I've only put that one and that one and that one back because that one's completely broken and I think that one is as well. Yep, I'm not going to get a nut in that one. Actually, I could get one in that one, so it's just that one. One of these I had to fix as well as one of these bottom ones. But uh, I did get it working. I don't know if it's going to work here because I've got too much light. Because this is a, it does have a light sensor. If I do that, and perhaps if I turn the light off. Nope. <laughs> Down here, can I get it to work? I've got a flash out of it. But yeah, that is working. Maybe if I actually do this. There we go. Yeah, I've got to cover the... Uh, solar cells up. But yeah, it does work now. And I'll show you what I did, because uh, I didn't just replace the battery, I made a modification. A very easy modification, because I hit eBay again. And I bought a little single AA battery holder. Just a single AA battery. Or cell, I should say. Because strictly speaking, it's a cell, but we all call them batteries now. I'll just take the base off. I'll show you up there and show you up at the bottom. That's the modification I made. I just cut the old battery off, soldered on the new wires for the new. That is actually screwed there because there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little peg there. And there's another one this side, so I just screwed this battery holder to that. And I've actually got in it a Energizer rechargeable battery, so I've got a better cell in there as well. So, it took me all of 10 minutes to do that modification. I had to take all of this apart anyway to get the circuit board out because there's wires going up to the solar cell which I needed to pull through and couldn't do that. Did mean I had to re-glue the solar cell back in place as well, but not a problem. So, yeah, it does work. It's not very water resistant. I did wash this down when I got it and... Uh, well, I did find water in the lens, so it's not very water resistant. Um, but it's cheap. If you want something cheap and cheerful just to use, you know, on a temporary 
basis grab one of these actually I don't think the seller's got any left I think he's sold them all now but, uh, yeah I do like it you can tell it's very cheap feeling and whatnot but it's different and it's actually the only solar powered one I've got. Now, that's another eBay purchase over a week ago now and it actually arrived in the box flashing at me. I opened the box and it was flashing. <laughs> I don't know if the um, guy I bought it from did that intentionally or if it got turned on during transport but it was flashing and it is one of these <laughs> that pin's too big let's try that one that's got the options so on and off and then you've got steady burn nope that one's on and off then we've got it around the wrong way and that one should switch your mode or flash mode um, I can't remember what I paid for this now. And I can't remember his eBay name either. Not off the top of my head. But he does have a company called Response Vehicle Lighting. So if you want lighting for your vehicle, whether it be light bars, beacons, work lights, searchlights, spotlights, whatever. Google response vehicle lighting and uh, have a look. There's some decent stuff on there actually. Anyway, this was on, I think, his private um, eBay account because I know he's got two. And like I said, I can't remember the eBay name off the top of my head. What I'll do, I'll put a link down below because he does put lamps up on there occasionally because he is a private collector as well. Um, this one came from the Netherlands and it's fire service. Well, don't know if it was actually used, but um, this was sold as new old stock, so I don't know if it was actually used or bought by the fire service and never actually used or what. But uh, it's quite a nice lamp, I quite like that. It's nice to have some lamps from other countries in the collection. I've got so many from the UK. Anywho. This um, same guy is also a member of the um, collector's groups and he put a bunch up on offer before he, you know, see if any of us wanted them before he put them on eBay. So I got these three. Now I haven't managed to get this one to work yet. <laughs> so I'm being a bit temperamental. Whenever I turn it on, see it just does that little flash. So I've got a feeling there's a dirty switch in there, which uh, it's just two screws holding that lens on. I can take that apart and have a look later. I just thought that was quite an unusual lamp. Again, it's from abroad. I'm not sure what country, to be honest. I think Germany, looking up that. That looks German on there. Let's see if you can see at home. Um, Tell me, GVA. It's a little bit beaten up, it's obviously been used for its intended purpose, but I actually don't mind that with lamps. I like lamps, you know, that have a bit of work history, if you like, to it. So I got that one. And I got this one because I don't actually have an all red Dorman traffic traffic light. I got one in green that I actually put together myself using a bunch of spare parts I had. But not red. In fact, I don't know if they did an all green one. I know they did a green option, but that had a, a blank plate on one side and a green lens on the other. But this one... That's got a light sensor on it, so it may not... Put it on a t-shirt or something here. We can just shadow it with. There we go. Is that actually on camera? Yeah. And the darker it is, I've actually noticed the faster it flashes. So I've got that one. Because, well, I like these traffic lights anyway. They're one of my favourites. 
Body's a bit worn on that one, a bit faded around here, and that's the yellow it's supposed to be, but again, that doesn't actually bother me. Now, a Till Dawn Guardsman. Big lens, a big red lens. This is quite different. Doing it. I'm going to clean this one up as well as best I can. It's got clear lens on the back. Um, I know they did lots of options with these Tildons. You could get them with red, red, blue, blue. I've actually got a blue one. I've actually got a pair of green lenses to put on one of these. But um, it's very hard to find one with the larger lenses. I've got plenty of the uh, Mark II, I believe they are, with the smaller lenses. But not many, or at least none spare, with the uh, the bigger lenses. So I've got nothing to put my green ones in. But it does work. Let's see if that one will work better. That's quite strange how that works. It's got steady burn there. It's not very bright though, is it? This came with the battery, so I don't know if it's a brand spanking new battery or if it's been in a while. If I press it again. It flashes. If I actually turn it up, no, it goes back to static and then off. So it has a multi-function light as well. Can I actually get that done up a bit more because it's a bit sticking out there a bit. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, friend and collector that I know on Facebook that sent me these also sent me these two keys as well this one's actually got the uh, dormant key in the end of it but other than that it is similar to that although this pin is thicker than this one and this one's got like a hexagon key in it probably better to have in your pocket but that is actually a that is actually a dormant key as well it's got dormant written on it part number that one's just a generic key. I know if you, um, what was the lamp called I bought? I bought a Stell, which is basically a JSP Maxi Light look-alike. Um, and they send these sort of keys with those Stell lamps. I do believe I've got another one somewhere. Here I have. But I actually prefer these because these are like multi-tools. They say it's having lots and lots of other little keys dotted around, so... Anyway, that is it. That's what I've got to show you. So, you can find a home for them. Oh, I'm just going to take off the tripod for a minute and just show you something in the hallway. I did do a little video with them all flashing and put them up on here. But that was mainly so I could show the video elsewhere. And uh, got all these hanging up in here now. They've all got a battery in, apart from the red maxi light down there, because you can't turn it off unless you lay it down. Because it's got what they call um, a tilt switch in it, which is basically just a little ball bearing inside a switch with connections in. Ball bearing rolls to one end, it makes a connection. When it rolls away, it disconnects. That's how the tilt switch works. So, I actually got bored last week and I thought, well, why don't I bring some of the lamps in from the closet and just hang them up here and make, you know, a wool display of them. So, that's exactly what I've done. For some reason that tilled on. It's uh, a bit dim. Got that one there as well. Actually, if I just grab this one. You can see the lens size difference now, can't you? So I am always on the lookout for another one of these that I could perhaps dismantle and just put my green lenses in. I'm not really fussed on body condition, as long as it's not smashed to bits. This has obviously been used for its intended purpose. I have no idea what's written there. KHW Hoffman. Anywho, I do like these Tildorns. They're one of my uh, 
favourite lamps and probably the first electronic or electric lamp that I ever saw as a kid um, was these ones that I saw as a kid because the electrical electrical the electric um, company that uh, back in the days was back in the 90s Eastern Electricity they were called and they you know fixed all the power networks and whatnot and maintained that um, but they also went around replacing a lot of streetlights they had the contract for that back then and on our estate it's what they used these Tildorns and I used to go past the depot on the way to my, grand, um, my grandparents back then looking out the car window and you could see like a big bin on there just full of these <clears throat> All gone now, no idea what they've done with them, whether if they sold them or dumped them, but they went donkeys years ago. It's a shame, really. But yeah, I think ever since then I've always liked that style of lamp. So, I'm glad. I think I've got another two or three in the cupboard out there. I can't remember without looking. I've got a number of them anyway. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. And uh, as soon as I have another update like this on some lamps, I will uh, let you know and do a video on them. I don't like doing a video on them one at a time because that's just boring. I like to get a bunch of them like this together. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.